আউজু বিল্লাহ মিনাশান রজিম বিসমিল্লাহ রহমান রহিম পিস বি আফন দ্য ওয়ান হু ফলোজ দ্য গাইডেন্স আসসালামু আলাইকুম ও রহমতুল্লাহ ওবরকাতহ আই উড লাইক টু শেয়ার উইথ ইউ এ সেইং অফ দ্য প্রফেট মোহাম্মদ পিস বি আফন হিম দ্যাট শোজ দ্য মাইন্ড সেট অফ এ মুসলিম অ্যান্ড দ্য কাইন্ড অফ লাইফ and the kind of thinking that the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us to have i hope allah makes this a reminder for the muslims and as a as an example and an insight for the non muslims to understand islam and to find out more about muhammad the last messenger of of god peace be upon him and the quran and about islam in general preferably from those who follow Islam and not from the media that attacks Islam all the time. This saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was written in the book of Ahmad ibn Hanbal and is narrated by the great Muslim general Khalid bin al-Walid who has never been defeated on the battlefield. One day, A Bedouin came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said to him, O Messenger of Allah, I have come to ask you a few questions about the affairs of this life and the hereafter. The Prophet wasallam, replied, Ask what you wish. I would like to be the most learned of men, said the Bedouin. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Fear Allah and you will be the most learned of men. The Bedouin asked, I wish to be the richest man in the world. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Be contented and you will be the richest man in the world. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be the most just man. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Desire for others what you desire for yourself and you will be the most just of men. The Bedouin asked, I want to be the best of men. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Do good to others and you will be the best of men. The Bedouin asked, I wish, I wish to be the most favored by Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Engage much in Allah's praise and you will be most favored by Him. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to complete my faith. The Nabi, peace be upon him, said, If you have good manners, you will complete your faith. The Bedouin asked, I wish to be among those who do good. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Adore Allah as if you see him, and if you do not see him, remember he sees you. In this way, you will be among those who do good. The Bedouin asked, I wish to be obedient to Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you observe Allah's commands, you will be obedient. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be free from all sins. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Bathe yourself from impurities and you will be free from all sins. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be raised on the day of judgment in the light. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Don't wrong yourself or any other creature, and you will be raised on the day of judgment in the light. The Bedouin asked, I'd like Allah to bestow his mercy on me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you have mercy on yourself and on others, Allah will grant you mercy on the day of judgment. The Bedouin asked, I'd like my sins to be very few. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, if you, seek the forgive, if you seek the forgiveness of Allah as much as you can, your sins will be very few. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be the most honorable man. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, if you do not complain to any fellow creature, you will be the most honorable of men. Complain only to Allah. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be the strongest of men. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, I'd, 
if you put your trust in Allah, you will be the strongest of men. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to enlarge my provision. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you keep yourself pure, Allah will enlarge your provision. The Bedouin asked, I'd like to be loved by Allah and his messenger. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you love what Allah and his messenger love, you will be among their beloved ones. The Bedouin replied, I wish to be saved from Allah's wrath on the day of judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, if you do not lose your temper with any of your fellow creatures, you will be safe from the wrath of Allah on the day of judgment. The Bedouin asked the Prophet, I'd like my prayers to be responded to. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you avoid forbidden actions, your, your prayers will be responded to. The Bedouin asked the Prophet, I'd like Allah not to disgrace me on the day of judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, If you guard your chastity, Allah will not disgrace you on the day of judgment. The Bedouin asked again, I'd like Allah to provide me with a protective covering on the day of judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Do not uncover your fellow creatures' faults, and Allah will provide you with a covering protection on the day of judgment. The Bedouin asked, What will save me from sins? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Tears, humility, and illness. The Bedouin asked, What are the best deeds in the eyes of Allah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Gentle manners, modesty, and patience. The, the Prophet was asked by the Bedouin again, What are the worst evils in the eyes of Allah? The Prophet replied, Hot temper and, and miserliness. The Bedouin asked, What assuages the wrath of Allah in this life and in the hereafter? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Conceal charity and kindness to relatives. The Bedouin asked, What extinguishes hell's fires on the, days of judgment, on the day of judgment? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Patience in adversity and misfortunes. I hope this helps us to understand and practice Islam better. And I pray that Allah gives us the tawfiq to understand and to practice what we have learned from this hadith. Akuli kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa akhir dawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.